I love women. I do. But I'm committed to one. And I know many men that are committed to their spouse or spouses. So if there are men that are committed to their own wives or spouses, what is this notion that some men have that they want to have more than one wife? I know that there are some cultures in the Middle East, for example, uh, where they can marry more than one woman. There are some cultures, even in Africa, the continent, various countries where they can marry more than one wife or have more than one wife. And there are a few other places where you can have more than one wife. But what's this thing with American men all of a sudden in the past decade or so where American men are talking about moving to other countries where they can have more wives or even men in America living in America trying to marry more than one woman while they're living here in America excuse me I apologize I'm not going to stop the video because of the phone ringing I apologize I had no control over that so men in America wanting to marry more than one woman what's the reason is it spiritual is it religious is it cultural it's not can we all say lust can we all say that some of these men perhaps to borrow a phrase or the old cliche are dogs I would tend to agree with that because I have encountered some of these men and the looks in their eyes and their faces uh, when they've been around me and there happened to be a couple women walk by that were very attractive they would make the statement almost instantaneously and say that boy I'm gonna move to such and such a country I said for what uh, so I can marry uh, three or four women it's not for any other reason than lust their carnal mind they want to be able to amass as many women as they possibly can now outside of the cultural reason I won't touch that I'm going to touch on men just wanting to have as many women as they can possibly have it's like jumping from pillar to post as my mother used to say or jumping from bed to bed you know you're just trying to see how many women that you can amass and say that you know I got her and I got her and I got her as if you're on some sort of conquest so the problem that you would have in having several girlfriends for example that one another doesn't know about or each of them don't know about uh, or even having several women is the fact that women won't tolerate another woman in the home they won't tolerate another woman in the bed some might comply because people are just people some people are different but for the most part I don't know very many women that would tolerate you having another woman or mistress that lives in the home with her and you have to take turns being intimate with one another I don't know very many and uh, the house chores and how you take care of finances how you raise the children all of these things can factor into that relationship situation that can be tumultuous it, it, it could be very chaotic at some point or throughout the whole relationship for that matter where you are all in conflict so is it really worth it even if it were possible for you to have several women or several wives is it really worth it all you're really saying men is that I'm a dog and I just want to have sex I'm not satisfied and I can't commit myself to any one individual all you're really saying is that you lack character and that you don't have a real purpose in life or you haven't found a real purpose in life you have nothing to look for no aspirations no real sound uh, definitive purpose in life other than to destroy someone else's life 
Because if you are going to continue down that path, that's what it's going to end up being. Chaos. You are going to destroy someone's life because everyone has feelings. And when you are not committed to just one individual and you have several other individuals in your life that you're trying to spread your attention across with in a relationship, I should say, it's not going to fare well. You're going to end up with some damaged goods and it might just be everybody involved, not just one or two. So is it worth it to destroy the hopes and the lives or the livelihoods of these other human beings all for your sexual pleasure? I think not. And I believe that you should think again. It doesn't mean that you're going to follow what I say just because I said it. You're going to do what you want to do anyway. Go. Have at it. But I don't wish you the best. I don't wish you much success. What I really wish is that you wake up and that you smell the coffee. This is Brother Teacher.